Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Gray with Dermatology Center of Atlanta, and this is... I'm Danny Wisely. My, I'm a physician assistant. My fabulous physician assistant. Um, and we are here today to talk to you about something near and dear to both of our hearts, which is um, for those of you who are considering Botox or fillers for the very first time, um, we want to go over, I think, some of the most common um, maybe fears or hesitations that we see commonly in our patients when we're doing our cosmetic consults. And we want to just talk you through some of those and hopefully this will be helpful. So I think we'll start with what I think is, I don't know, I'm curious to see what you think. What do you think is the most common fear Misconception. or fear that you yeah. have? Like what are people really afraid of when they come in or what, what do they think is going to happen? The most common thing that, that patients will say to me is that they're scared of not looking natural. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Same. Just, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I think that's common. And the reason I think that is too, is because right now you could go, you know, on TV, you could go to Publix, you can go to Target or what have you. And you do see people sometimes with lips or cheeks or, or what have you, or just they're over Botox. And I think um, that's something we definitely try and avoid. Like we're very much about natural looking Botox, natural looking filler. In fact, we've won what the natural looking Botox. Like five or six. Five, yeah, five or six years. Around. Yeah, something like that. And it's because we both take a very low and slow approach to Botox. And I think the consult's really key. Don't you agree? I agree. I think um, just kind of evaluating everyone as an individual and going over their treatment plan, coming up with their recipe. Mm -hmm. The recipe is important. We do try and find, I think we build your Botox regimen from the ground up because, you know, Botox's only job is to temporarily relax a muscle. And we're all kind of built a little bit differently underneath uh, the common areas and a lot of the muscle fibers kind of interact together and we want to make sure that what we're doing is right for you and so we very slowly kind of creep your Botox up to what we both agree or you and me and you and you and the patient what is best for you guys um, and that way I'd much rather them come back and say that you know I think I need a little more than I think it's too much exactly yeah and then we write down this the way we document in our chart is by this very precise little recipe which is nice too because like if Danny's out or I'm out, we can see each other as patients and we really can kind of tell what the other person did. And that I think is super important too, just to be able to have a very reproducible Botox experience. Um, and then with fillers, I think the fear is real because you do see again, big lips, big yeah. cheeks. And Overdone. Mm -hmm. Not our five. Nope, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's also something I think when you come in for the console, what we both want to make sure is that, you know, number one, you're a good candidate um, that we want to make, we kind of will look at you and kind of discuss the journey, which is different than Botox. Right. Yeah. Right. I think with, with Botox, it's just kind of understanding that we formulate your, your recipe and then it gets better as you keep doing it over time, which filler does too, but filler is more stepwise. Yeah. I think so Botox, there's a lot of prevention with it. So if you're doing Botox and you're controlling the underlying muscle, you get this nice prevention that, because you're not allowing the muscle to continue to get stronger or to crease the skin. Whereas with fillers, like you were saying, that stepwise thing, like I think of each session as a building block or a stepping stone to the next. And as long as you're coming in like maybe two to three times a year, you could make forward movement. And the way we treat with fillers too is very, very conservatively. Um, Dip your toe in first. <laughs> Dip your toe in. And we watch you like a hawk. So we'll put, you know, the, the syringe is just one cc, a little blueberry. Yeah, a fifth of a teaspoon. It's not much. But we, each tiny aliquot we put in, we're going to watch you. So you, we always laugh and say it's a core class yeah. because you have to lay back. When we treat you, then you sit back up and we see what's happened. And we, I think we both get pretty OCD about two yeah, things. we do. <laughs> so one is symmetry. Um, no one's perfectly symmetric, but we like to approach it. And then the other is just that balance. Right. You know, the upper half and the lower half of the face need to make sense to each other. And I think that's super important. They need to belong in the same decade and belong to the same person. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and I think, what? Do, how many syringes do most of your patients do? Oh, by far, a vast majority do one. Same. And I think that's really important, too, because I think a lot of places do, I don't know, it's, and again, 
different strokes for different folks and that's fine. <laughs> we tend to be very conservative and for us it is like a dip your toe in experience. And I think um, we try and make sure that with that one syringe you do see something, make sure that you're a good candidate to see something. Um, but we want to make sure that it's a feeling more of like, why do I look better? Not like, oh, I had this filler done. Because I don't, I think if you ever look in the mirror and see your filler, like that's not great. I think it should, if you have a hard time figuring out what happened, then your best friend doesn't know, your husband may not know, yeah. and that's a good thing. I, know, I love when a patient will sit up at the end and, and look in the mirror and they're like, I don't know what you did, but it looks better. Exactly. <laughs> that is a great I feeling. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> 100%, 100%. Um, and then let's talk about some other concerns. So. Um, fear of looking natural, definitely, I agree, number one. Number two would probably be, I would say, pain and pain. side effects. Yeah. yeah, people are afraid of that. And I mean, I'm afraid of pain. And <laughs> I'm afraid and of pain. And I can get through it. So. <laughs> I, and we do do, so here's what we do we, we do numb you. Um, we, the way we treat too, I think, is extremely gentle. And again, we go very slowly because we are watching everything. So it's not like you're laying down and a bunch of needles are flying at your face. It is a very slow controlled type of situation. We also do something, um, it sounds silly, but it works, but we, we tap on you while we're treating you, but your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. So it really helps to kind of distract your brain. So you don't, um, it doesn't seem as intense. Exactly. And most people find that soothing. If it drives you nuts, we don't have to do it. <laughs> uh, um, and then, you know, there's always a risk of bruising. Bruising, mm -hmm. definitely the biggest. Swelling, um, but minimal. And we, we do, in our consults, we tell you how to avoid that. Um, like preventative, um, what you can do beforehand, what you should and shouldn't do afterwards. And we mm -hmm. do have a, a laser that's complimentary mm -hmm. um, if there is a bruise. Yeah, a little V-bean that you can do as long as the bruise is set after about 48 hours, if it's a bad one. Most, by far, the majority of people who do fillers or, um, or Botox have either no bruising or minimal pinpricky stuff you can cover with, with makeup. By right. far, that's the majority. Occasionally, you can get something more significant and rarely can you get that bigger bruise that actually needs the laser, but we have it if you need it. And if that ever happens, I always say, we did not do it on purpose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Just a good safety net. Ab absolutely. Um, and then lastly, I think, what do you think the last thing is that you feel like being? I think probably finance. Fin cost, yeah, yeah, I agree. I think, um, obviously, we all have, most people anyway, have a cosmetic budget. And we, I don't like wasting time and I don't like wasting money, so like I get it. And I think we both wanna make sure, we like happy patients and we wanna make sure that you're gonna get something of value that you will make you feel better, that will make you feel more confident. Um, and so the consults I think are super important to just kinda go over what like a realistic expectation is, how, how this will go. And then you make that decision. Um, I feel like, Danny and I are both, I think, really good educators. I mean, I've heard your consults. Thorough. And yeah. yes, she's extremely thorough. I'm pretty thorough. Like, we just want you to know kind of the ins and outs of this. And I think that is, is really the key because you want to make sure that if you're going to go do this and invest in yourself, that you're going to find value. Because I always say if you don't, then you should go buy shoes or a nice handbag, that would be my choice. But, <laughs> but you know, make sure that this is valuable to you and then, um, and then go forward. You know, it's, I, it's fun. It's so much fun. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it's important that, you know, the patients understand too that they can set their own cadence. Yes, good point. Yeah, yeah I think um, you can go as fast or as slow as you want with our guidance. I mean, that's the one thing is we, we will help you and we are there to kind of tell you, yes, this is a good idea or you know what, no. And both Dana and I are okay saying no as well. And we've said no before because sometimes it's not the right choice for somebody and, um, and we can tell you why. So I think, again, those consults are absolutely key. Or if someone comes in too and they've you know, they've had their filler, they're at a good level of correction and they say, I'm here for my filler and you know, I. I'll tell them, you know, not today. Not to, maybe you wait. Great. Maybe wait. Yeah, yeah maybe wait. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, I guess, fillers and Botox in a very, very brief nutshell. But hopefully, again, if you're thinking about fillers or Botox, this kind of gives you a little bit of insight into maybe um, 
some of the fears or hesitations others have and also how we can help you address those or overcome those. Um, we would love to see you for a cosmetic consult. Okay. There, um, what's nice is there are $75, but you get the $75 back in a gift certificate that you can use towards your treatment. So that's perfect. Um, and anyway, we hope that we see you guys in the office soon. Hope to see you soon. All right, bye.